What is going on, Team Prime? I am back with another review, and today we are going to take a look at the Transformers Generations Studio Series 2007 movie Starscream. So before we get to Starscream, let's go over the box. So here you have a nice image of Starscream shooting with his missile pods. You can see the diorama in the back. My box kind of got destroyed. On this side of the box, you have number six, Studio Series. He is a Voyager class. He is really goofy looking in this image. Here is another image with the Generations Authentic logo. Starscream. Autobot. Nah. And here he is on the back of the box. Changes in 26 steps. He is from the Mission City Battle. Starscream soars and sky... Or sc yeah. Starscream soars amid skyscrapers with uh, tactical precision to annihilate opponents. Opponents. Opponents with opponents. <sighs> and nothing on the back of the box. The bottom of the box. So that's it. Get the box out of here. Bring you guys back down. And we'll take a look at Starscream, who is a. I forget the exact name. Over there. Yeah. He is a F-22 Raptor. And this is an awesome Starscream. He has landing gear. Let me put these away. Here he is in his jet mode. I love this. Like this, look at all this detail on the wings. Like this smoky blue throughout the jet mode. He's got the white tip, and it is a, it's a sharp tip. Like, that's not uh, plastic or soft rubber. That, that's plastic. That's hard plastic. He has the clear cockpit here. The uh, I'm going to assume that this is the Decepticon Elite Guard. I don't know. But uh, yes, he is a, uh, a modified, upscale version of Dark of the Moon Deluxe Starscream. A Hasbro version of the modified upscale. So for a comparison, here he is with my movie one star screen. And you can see the difference like this is just a robot with thighs or playing with thighs. This is this is a jet. Also, included with the figure, you get um, his uh, missile pod launcher that he used during the Hoover Dam uh, release of Megatron. And it pegs in right here on these two ports with these two slots. Like that. So you don't really see it when you're flying him. Now, let's get Starscream into his robot mode, shall we? Let's. So we're going to fold up the landing gear, and I'm going to raise up. So, first, what you want to do is take the wing and push up, and it will come up. You want to get it out of the way for now. Push up, bring it back, fold these wings down, and then untab this section from back here, and it tabs in. Bring this up and out of your way. Let's focus on the legs. Unpeg them, bring them forward. Unpeg the feet. Bring them back. Right here, bring his leg down. And flip up his toes. Same thing over here. And now you have a Gur Jet Walk Mode thing. Okay. Now we take. The arms, we bring them out, push these wings out of the way, and these will come out, like that. You want to bring this down, you also want to bring this up, and this will allow you to swing the, the nose down. Close that back up to secure that in place. 
Now you will open this panel, and then there's another panel to open in here. Close it up, and make sure that this will lock into place right there. So again, bring out that other one. Bring that up, and this will lock into place. And then bring that back up. And then there are two posts right here that will go into the back of the wings. Star scream, quit being difficult. Hold on, something's not right. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. I, I fixed it. Straighten his head out. Rotate his arms down. Oh. And then open his fists and bring them down. Let's shift your legs back a little bit. There we go. And there you have Starscream in his robot mode. And this is a good, this is an awesome looking robot mode. I am completely blown away with this. Now you can bring this all the way back to give him his head movement, but I just leave it like that. To, but this is an awesome looking robot. Get a close up look at his details. Like this, this is what Starscream looks like in the three movies. Articulation wise, his head can rotate a full 360. It can look up somewhat. It can't, it can't look down. Arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out. There is a bicep swivel. He has double jointed elbows. And his there's a joint here, and his wrists are on a ball joint. Legs can go forward. They can go back, in, out. Uh, no swivel. This joint here, and this joint, plus his toes. So you can get Star Scream in some poses. Now, you could rotate. You could do one of two things with the pod. You could just peg it into his wrist via the 5mm port, like so. And he fell over. And you could fold his hand away. Kind of make it look like he has a short pod. Or you could take the two prongs right here and plug them into his hand. Doesn't matter which hand. It, all it's doing is going into his hand. And now, Starscream has his weapon to use against the Autobots, or Megatron, depending on his motives. So, yeah. That is Starscream by himself. Now, for comparison... Alright. So, for comparison, here he is with the Movie 1 Voyager Starscream. Um, if you want to know what I like better, 10 years apart. Here he is with some of his Studio Series buddies. Here he is with the Wave 1 Bumblebee. You can see uh, B goes up to his, about right there to his crotch. Here he is with the Deluxe Class Autobot Ratchet. They look pretty good together. And here he is with his wave mate, Voyager Optimus Prime. They look pretty darn good together. If you ask me, let's get these other guys all out of my way. Now, the last thing we're going to do, let me get him out of here for the moment, is we're going to bring back in his box 
So we're going to bring out his, uh, hold on. the display wants to be arrogant. Ah, okay. Here is the Mission City backdrop, and you can put Starscream on there to act as if he was in the battle fighting uh, the Autobots, just to prove here's Optimus Prime in Mission City, or... Ratchet. This actually works better for Ratchet because his display is Mission City as well. And finally, I just want to put him in there. Here's Bumblebee in Mission City. So overall, let me put this back in its box. Sorry. <laughs> and get get in your box. Get in your box. I'll worry about the box later. Overall, though, Star Screen is a really, really good figure. I don't really have many problems with him, aside from I wish he had come with the buzz the buzz saw. That way, uh, I wouldn't have to buy the Revenge of the Fallen uh, Declan one, but I have to buy the Revenge of the Fallen one to get the buzz saw. But um, he's a really good figure. I me mean, actually, let me get him in that pose that's on the box. But, uh, yeah, so that is it. That is my review on the Transformers Generations Studio Series number six, Starscream. I thank you guys for watching this review. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have not already, check out my playlist on the other Studio Series figures that I have reviewed thus far. And I will see you guys later. Peace!